Discussion forums are meant to engage the learner in course topics through healthy dialogue between peers. The instructor is meant to facilitate the discussion, posing challenges and providing key insights for the learner to consider. Normally, a significant part of your grade in these courses will be calculated through the participation in these forums. Always consult your individual course syllabi for more specific forum expectations as set forth by your instructor. Discussion forums are normally found in each week's module. A module simply represents the work and assignments for a given week. For example, Module 1 represents all the assignments for Week 1. To view a discussion forum, simply click on the appropriate link. Please note that from course to course, these may be titled differently. Participating in course discussions is twofold. Your first responsibility is to post an original response to the question the instructor has presented to you. The images here represent what a discussion question may look like. There can be variations between two discussion forum questions. One may simply ask your opinion on a topic, while the other may ask you to provide concrete evidence based upon research. When writing a response, make sure that you are answering the questions fully. Always be careful to read your response carefully and critically to ensure that there are no grammar or spelling errors. And remember, quality is better than quantity. Part two of your responsibility is to reply to your peers' responses. Normally, you will be required to reply to at least two of your classmates. However, these expectations may be different from course to course. While formulating a peer response, you should state more than I agree or that was interesting. While you may agree with a peer, this is also an opportunity to pose more questions or challenge them further to consider other ways to view the question at hand. Let's take a deeper look into how you will post a discussion forums. Here is a typical discussion forum question for an online course. To add your original response to the discussion question posed by your instructor, click Add a new discussion topic. Once you do that, you will title your response and begin writing. Remember that each instructor may ask you to title your responses specifically. In addition to writing, eClass allows you to upload documents to the discussion forums to showcase something to support your response. There are always two ways that this can be done. One, click add and browse through your computer files and find the one you would like to upload. Or two, drag and drop the desired file to upload. Once you have completed your response and added any desired files, click post to forum. Once you have posted your response to the discussion forum, eClass will confirm that your submission has been received by showing you this message. Click continue to return to the forum. Once you return, you will be able to see your response and any other responses that have been posted thus far. A post is noted by the title of the response, the picture and name of the person who has responded, and the number of replies their response has gotten. To read and respond to a peer, click on the title of their post. Since we are learning in an asynchronous environment, meaning that there are discussions not taking place in real time, checking in frequently to your course is vital to your success. Best practice would be to check in five to seven times per week. While this may seem like a lot, remember that if you are attending class fully in person, you would be devoting at least three hours of in-seat time each week, not counting the time taken to complete out-of-class assignments. Even though we are using online technologies to learn, it is always important to remember to act professional and well-mannered at all times. Use your best judgment as to what is appropriate in the forums. Also, it is important to be clear and concise as possible when presenting your thoughts, observations, or opinions. A helpful tip to the reader of your post is to separate your thoughts by grouping them in paragraphs. Also ensure that your punctuation is appropriate before posting your responses. Other important things to be mindful of are the rules of online etiquette. These practices, which are often referred to as netiquette, are meant to provide you with guidelines on conducting yourself in the online environment. Please consult the Guide to Netiquette in Online Learning video found on the Online Teaching and Learning Resource Center site for more on this topic. Other helpful tips are to avoid writing in capitals or in the color red. These gestures, while they are meant to express emotions, are often perceived as shouting. There are other ways to express emotion or place emphasis on important points, such as italicizing or underlining your words. For more help, please feel free to contact the Office of Online Learning at onlinelearning at msmc.edu by calling 845-569-3457 or 3458 or by stopping by our office. We are open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m.